Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a worm bin or vermicompost bin. Uh, this is just a, a place to compost uh, your kitchen waste uh, and I put it in my basement and the worms are happy, it doesn't smell, it's an awesome way to uh, get rid of your kitchen waste without uh, destroying the environment, without throwing it away. Um, and it actually is also great as fertilizer for your garden. So what I'm going to be using is two Rubbermaid containers. Here's one and here's the other. Uh, I believe these are uh, 18 gallon containers. Uh, I've heard that 10 gallon containers work just the same. Um, <clears throat> What I, this is, these bins are actually ones that I had in Pennsylvania before I moved. We're now in Indiana. Uh, so I had to, unfortunately, throw my worms away uh, before the move. Uh, but I'm starting things back up again. And all I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, but uh, you just take the top two containers that you're going to be using. Actually, this is the bottom one take the top two containers and you drill some holes in them with a drill and an eighth inch drill bit and then these two containers or the top container sits inside the bottom container like this now I've actually got some wood blocks that I put in the bottom of the the bottom container here now the bottom container the purpose of this is to catch excess moisture from the top container. Um, so you don't want to drill any holes in the bottom container. Um, so they sit just like this. I've got the wood blocks in there to block this top one up so it doesn't sink down too far in. Uh, I've got holes drilled around the outside of this one. I've got a bunch of holes drilled in the top here. And I also have six holes drilled in the bottom of the top bin. Uh, and the point and purpose of that is to allow the moisture, the excess moisture, to drip down into the bottom bin. Um, and then the, the, uh, the third lid, or I'm sorry, the second lid, um, I just sit underneath uh, just for added precaution. Uh, I've never had a problem with it, but uh, it just makes my wife feel a little happier having, having this extra piece underneath. Um, I had this in Pennsylvania, I had this sitting on the carpet in the basement um, and it worked out just great, you know, you can slide it around, do whatever you want. Um, the worms will eat about a half a pound of waste a day per thousand worms that you have. So if you, if you have one pound of worms, they say that's about a thousand worms, um, and that will eat about a half a pound a day. Um, now, these worms reproduce fairly quickly. Uh, I think it's a 28-day cycle uh, for them to reproduce and to have, have some little youngins. Um, and they say you can about double your, your worm supply. Uh, about every month you should be doubling or tripling your worm supply, uh, assuming everything is going well in your worm bin. So let's get started. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, how to do this and right now I just got some worms uh, that uh, I ordered from a guy in California called the worm dude uh, I heard he's got some good worms um, you can of course try and get them locally if you want now you can't use just the worms that you get off your driveway after it rains uh, I already tried it I read all over the place you can't do that it doesn't work they just die well I proved it to myself <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that's not the best way to do it. So I now have a thousand worms or at least a pound of worms um, and I will, these are red wiggler worms. They're a special type of worm uh, for vermicomposting um, and like I say uh, it's it's a great way to uh, to get rid of your kitchen waste and I just I, I love it. It's, it's a it's a fun little uh, project and, and uh, anyway Enjoy. Here we go. All right, so as I said before, um, you want a, an eighth inch drill bit here. 
now i'm just gonna i've already got these holes in here but i'll just show you what i do just drill in the top here i have about forty holes okay and an eighth inch is small enough that it's not gonna let the the worms escape real easy but they can actually get through these holes these worms well any worms really can can change the the size of their body however they want even the holes that you put down on the bottom of the top bin here i've got one two three four five six you don't really want to have a whole lot more than that these worms will go through these holes if the if the top bin here is is kind of a hostile environment if you don't have it set up just right you'll see them going down into the bottom and if there's water down in here they'll just go and go in there and drown so in the top i've got about forty holes in the bottom i've got six holes and i just placed them uh... in what i thought was the lowest spot of the top bin here um, and then i've got one two three four five holes in the side here um, two on the ends again five and two there All right. and again I've just, I've just got some blocks of wood this is a two by three and some one inch or some uh, one by three furring that I screwed together uh, and this is just you, you don't have to have those in there I like to have them in there just so that it's easier to get the top bin out if I need to because otherwise they tend to to go down inside and kind of bind and and it's hard to get them apart um, so that's about all there is to it uh, again six holes in the bottom about forty holes in the top and five two five two and of course you want to make sure that the holes in the top are high enough so that they're not going to be covered by the by the bottom bin here so that's about that um, the next step is filling this with uh, with the, the shredded newspaper or uh, what I use is uh, shredded office paper uh, the office paper they say is, isn't the best because it has uh, it has bleach in it and stuff but the worms will still use it they'll they'll munch it up um, just like they well they, they it's the newspaper is a little bit better um, but the shredded office paper works fine too and some people use their shredded junk mail uh, so let's go on to that step next okay so I'm actually mixing my shredded newspaper in the blue bin here uh, here's the bins that I'm going to be putting them in I want to get the right water consistency and if I uh, if I did it in here, I'd have water dripping down into the bottom bin, so I just figured I'd do it in here. Um, this shred here is mostly newspaper. There's a little bit of office paper in here, too. Uh, I'm just going to mix the whole bag in here. And this is going to shrink down real quick as soon as I add some water to it. Right now, it's just it's just dry fluffy paper and we add a little bit of water here now the water that you add you want to make sure your the water from your tap um, is the right pH you don't want to have a pH much different than 7 which is neutral um, anything less than say uh, or more than say well, less than 6.5 um, is going to be too acidic anything more than 7.5 is going to be too alkaline and so I'm just adding some water make sure you reach all the way down to the bottom because a lot of times it just soaks all the way down there and mixing it up by hand here now you want this, they say you want this about the consistency of a wet sponge. Now what does that mean? Well, you, you want it so that when you when you squeeze it with one hand here, you shouldn't have any water coming out. Uh, it should be able to clump together in a ball though, kind of like this. But you want to make sure it's all pretty consistent throughout. Add a little bit more water here. 
Now, as far as the food that you add to these guys, um, no, no dairy, uh, no milk or cheese or anything like that. No meat can go in here. Uh, either of those two are no-nos. Uh, also, adding uh, adding citrus is not the best idea. Now here it's really dry over here, so I'm going to add some more water again. So like orange peels and lemon peels, that type of thing, aren't so good. Uh, they can they can be tolerated. The worms the worms will tolerate them, but they're not they're not really the best for them. <clears throat> so just keep adjusting the water here and mixing it around. Make sure you have enough. Now you want you want enough shred so that it's about at this line here inside the bin. Um, it can be a little bit less than that, but this stuff's going to shrink down real quick. The, the, more, um, the more the worms are in here, uh, I'd say in a week or so, this is going to be about half the, the height. So I'm going to start off higher and just keep mixing around. and she just changed her perch. She's on the steps now, so she can see better, I think. Is that right, Michaela? No, I just wanted to make sure that... Oh, uh, just re ready for a quick escape? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And she's gone. All right, so here we are. Now, like I said, most of this is shredded newspaper. This is, this is great stuff. These worms are going to love this. Uh, but as you can see, uh, there's not a whole lot in here. It, it, it's pretty, pretty small in here, real quick. So I'm gonna add some more shred, and this is more papery shred. Now I've seen people tear newspaper up by hand and do it that way. Uh, I'm sure that works fine. I think the shredded paper is actually better, shredded newspaper. Um, I think it's better for the worms, quite honestly. That's just my opinion. And I don't really have anything to base that on, so. Alright. Mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a little too wet down on the bottom right now. So I'll mix some of this dry stuff in. Down flow there. Yeah. Yeah, see I can I can squeeze water out of that. That's not good. So we take the dry stuff and mix it around. That's good there. That's good there. Now one thing it might be good to have around when, as your worm bin is is going, is to have a, a spray bottle handy so you can add moisture as necessary. Oftentimes you don't need to. Your, your kitchen waste is going to be pretty moist by itself. Um, and I'm going to be putting on top of this, I'm going to be putting a layer of of uh, full sheets of newspaper. say. Take a handful of it. You shouldn't be able to squeeze any water out of it and yet it should kind of be in a in a ball like that. Or it should be able to ball up. 
Uh, there we go, that's about it. I may add a little bit more paper as time goes on here. You know, it could be a little bit higher, but this is good to, to get things started here, I think. So now I'm just going to transfer this into the top bin. And let's just make sure that we're in camera view here. There we go. Yep. That's good. Now I'm just going to dump it like that. And of course now you've got in here, you've got a whole bunch of newspaper shred and what I'll do with that, I'll just let it dry out. Well, I'll get some of it out, but I'll let it dry out and just uh, it'll flake off once it's once it's dry. But I'll get the majority out of it, out of it here. And in there we go. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is put some grit in with this. Now, some people like to put dirt in. Some people like to put sand in. What I do is I take some some dirt out of the gutter when I'm cleaning the gutters out of my house. And this is it here. It's kind of a sandy mix. Kind of a cross between sand and dirt. And add just a few handfuls of this. To here now the, the the worms need this to to help help them chew up the food so that'll make them happy and I'll just mix it in here nicely okay that's about good. Good, good, good. So now I've got my pound of worms. Uh, like I say, I just got it in the mail from the worm dude yesterday. This is the way it comes from him. In fact, my last batch of worms I got from someone else uh, out in Arizona, I think. They had a similar bag. Uh, they had like a burlap burlap bag. So I'm just going to untie this. He actually had a, uh, I, I looked at these guys last night. Wanted to make sure everything was good with them. Make sure they arrived alive. Uh, he had a wire tie on here. But that yarn just makes things nice and easy. So hello little wormies. Okay. So now we just take this and dump this on top. And... They come with with some stuff in them. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of worms in there. That's a lot of worms there, all clumped together. Right there. Yep. So they are going to. They don't like the light. So if I keep this open like this. They're going to burrow down into the material that I just put in here uh, to get away from the light. They really don't like sunlight, but even uh, even fluorescent light uh, they try to get away from. So they're going to burrow down and make themselves at home. And that's really the basics of it. Uh, I'm going to put some food scraps in here once... Uh, once they get buried down in there and what I do I just dig a hole put my food scraps in there cover it up and that way um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stink and it doesn't produce uh, fruit flies or anything like that um, as long as it's covered up you're good but what I'm going to do once I have my first uh, my first piece of my first bit of food in there I'm going to take some newspaper like this. I'll get it wet first, or I'll, I'll stick it down and, and wet it with my, uh, my sprayer. And then 
that will be a nice barrier on top. Uh, that makes it easy. You can just fold it back, see how the worms are doing. Um, and even then, then you can have the food right on top, more or less, as long as you have it covered over. Uh, you just pull it back. You can see how they're eating the food, see how they're doing. So that's about it. Uh, I will uh, show you how things move forward here with this. Um, but as you can see, they're they're starting to they're starting to wiggle around here and find their way down to the down into the shred that I just put in there. So I think for this video that's going to be it, and I'll have a follow-up video to show you how things progress here. But for right now, this is Carl with Frugalberry.com. I'll probably have some more. Uh, some more information about this on Frugalberry. It may take me a little bit to, to get that put together, but um, I will put a link at the bottom of this video as soon as it's together. Um, hope you join me at frugalberry.com for lots of money saving tips and ideas. Thanks for watching.